WSKT 22's Patrick Roth is at the live desk. And Patrick, health officials in St. Joe County say it's unlikely we'll see many cases here. Yeah, Suzanne, the good news is that mosquitoes that carry Zika don't travel this far north. Now, there is always the possibility that somebody could catch it somewhere else and wind up bringing it back here. So officials say that there are some precautions that people should take. Okay. With now 14 confirmed cases of Zika, the Center for Disease Control has taken the unprecedented step of issuing a travel advisory for Miami-Dade and Broward counties in Florida. The first ever travel advisory for the continental United States. We're advising pregnant women not to travel to this one mile area north of downtown Miami and for pregnant women who live or work in that area to do everything possible to prevent mosquito bites. They're also advising all pregnant women in the United States be assessed for possible Zika exposure during prenatal care visits. Zika can cause severe birth defects, but its symptoms, such as a fever and a rash, can be easily overlooked by adults. Zika has usually mild infections with a few rare cases in which it's more severe. Actually, of um, much greater concern is West Nile virus. While the two types of mosquitoes that carry Zika don't reach this far north, the ones that carry West Nile do. The West Nile can be uh, more deadly because it can have more severe infections than Zika and is transmitted by similar mosquitoes. Actually, West Nile has a wider range of mosquitoes that transmit it. Even though it's unlikely Zika carrying mosquitoes will travel this far north, local health officials say it's still best to err on the side of caution. If you have symptoms, go ahead and be tested. But even if you don't have symptoms, be tested in the first and second trimester. If you have the possibility of exposure, and Dr. Galoop says that there's the possibility that mosquitoes carrying Zika could wind up reaching southern Indiana, and health officials in the southern United States are actually getting ready for the possibility of more outbreaks. Now, while the CDC says pregnant women are at the highest risk of Zika, they also say that anyone, man or woman, who lives in an area with Zika exposure should consult a doctor if they're planning on pregnancy. We have the whole list of Z CDC suggestions up on our website and our WSBT 22 News app. At the live desk, Patrick Roth, WSBT 22 News.